Iran set up Hezbollah early on to have a cutout, somebody who could uh, independently carry out terrorist attacks with, quote, no fingerprints back to Tehran. Founded in the early 80s in Lebanon under the guidance of Ayatollah Khomeini, Hezbollah wasted little time before striking American installations. The day after this attack on the embassy here in Beirut, the death toll has continued to climb. It is believed that before the counting is over, more than 60 people will be found to have died, at least 16 of them Americans. Hezbollah's next attack would prove even more deadly, attacking multinational peacekeeping forces stationed in Beirut following Lebanon's civil war. At that point, this had been the largest non-nuclear explosion ever recorded. We worked for four days trying to find people who were buried, and then we continued to work just to find pieces of bodies, to put them together. Every piece of a body we wanted to bury and not just leave the bodies under the rubble. Their intention in attacking us in Beirut was to drive the United States out of Lebanon and ultimately out of the Middle East. Despite repeated proclamations that terrorists won't affect U.S. foreign policy, Muslim forces in Lebanon achieve their goal when Reagan withdraws all 1,400 Marines to the safety of offshore ships. When we pulled our troops out, we essentially sent a message to the Iranians, you win. We will respond to terrorism by retreating. It was a terrible message to send, and we've been paying the price for that ever since.